So friends, welcome back to our channel Learn with Gigs. In today's video, I will discuss with you one very important question from the data warehouse concepts, which is definitely I would say like the chances of being asked in the in, in the Power BI interviews is more than ninety percent. So you should definitely know how to answer this concept of data warehouse in front of the interviewer properly. Okay. and as you would have seen from the title we will be discussing today about slowly changing dimensions okay so what exactly it is what are the its different types and which exact category of slowly changing dimensions is being used frequently and that only you have to tell to the interviewer okay so let's proceed with the solution so before starting with slowly changing dimension i will just give you the overview of the different types of tables that we have we have two types of tables one is the dimension table and the other one is the fact table okay dimension tables are the ones which has the master data master data means we do not change frequently and the other one is the fact table fact table means the transactional data where we have the data related to the transactions which frequently changes and that has to be updated in the fact table okay now we will focus on the dimension tables only why because slowly changing dimensions are one of the types of dimension tables we have other types of dimension tables also like junk dimensions degenerate dimensions role playing dimensions but we will focus today on slowly changing dimensions okay now in slowly changing dimensions also we have other categories or you can say sub categories of slowly changing dimensions and now we will discuss one by one those sub categories of scd okay all right let's proceed with that okay so here i have considered a product dimension table just for an example to, so that you understand the values or the columns properly okay so i have considered here product table okay and product table where i have considered columns like product id product name product category product sub category last updated date so so columns like this which are related to a product okay so i am considering considering that here only now we have different types of scd as you can see here we have scd 0 we have scd 1 we have scd 2 we have scd 3 4 and 6 okay i will focus on the first four okay and four or six i will just give an overview of what it is that is rarely used so it will not be asked also so let's start with scd 0 so as you can see here we have columns like product id product name category sub category last updated date and product is cheap and i have taken an example of a product called veg loaded pizza okay so the category of veg loaded is pizza sub category is pizza mania and the last updated uh, date is uh, 1st april 2019 and uh, yes the product is like we have a column called product is cheap so we have the value as yes so when it was started uh the value the the product was cheap so that's why this column contains the value as yes now so after 3 years as you can see here the values remains the same one veg loaded pizza and pizza mania and this focus on this column product is cheap so after 3 years also the value is written as yes but if you consider the price price value of veg loaded pizza you will find this pizza is no more a cheap pizza now after 3 years it its price has gone up and this pizza is no longer a cheap pizza but remember this in actual it should be no but still uh, it is not updated to no why because this column is no more no more relevant for this table why it is no more relevant for this table because in this 3 years this uh, the the, do the dominoes which provides this veg loaded pizza has built that trust and taste in the public with due to which even if the prices has gone up this pizza is being bought by the public even at the higher cost so this column product underscore is cheap is no more relevant so even if the values are getting changed to no it is it is being not updated because it is not relevant so what does that means there is no change in data so scd 0 is the type of dimension slowly changing dimension tables where there is no change in data we don't update the data because the columns which were relevant few years ago is not relevant now okay so i hope you understood what is scd 0 okay now let's proceed with scd 
Now as you can see here, we have these uh, four or five columns and we have one column as product price column. Now, as you can see, the last updated date is 1st April 2022. Okay. Now, in SED1 tables, what we do, whatever is the updated value, we directly overwrite on the older ones. So, whatever was the price of a uh, wedge loaded pizza earlier, it has updated to the current price on 1st April 2022. And that is the last updated date. Whatever is the current value of the pizza, whatever is the price, it gets updated here. What does that mean? We are overwriting the old values. We are not maintaining any kind of history here. Whatever is the current value, we just overwrite on the older values. So this is known as SCD1 table, okay, where we overwrite the old values. So I hope SCD1 is also clear to you now. Now let's move to SCD2. And this SCD2 is the one which is used most frequently. And why does we use this we will know shortly okay so here also we have those uh, the same columns but here what we do in SED2 table we create few more extra columns why to store the history and why we require history because for example if we have to calculate what was the uh, what was the uh, price of wedge loaded pizza for a particular duration if you only put if you only have the current record in our data warehouse we will not be able to calculate with the prices which were there in the older times, right? So that's why we maintain history. And as you can see here, to maintain the history, we have one extra column as a start date. We have one uh, extra column as flag. Flag means to state whether it is the latest or the older one. So as you can see here, this, this record, this is the one which is the latest one and that's why this flag has been raised to one. So if you have to visualize something on the dashboard somewhere, you can just filter it out on the flag equal to one and you will be able to see the one which is the latest one you will be able to see that record only. So that's why this flag column gets updated regularly. Okay. So you understood that we, we introduced a start date and we introduced a flag column. Okay. Start date and end date to get to know what exactly have we had in the history. Okay. So that's why these two columns are required for SED2 dimension tables and also we generate a surrogate key here that is the product key. For example, if this product key is not there, then how will you uniquely identify these three records in the dashboard if you will visualize it. So that's why this product key is co column is generated by us or you can see a surrogate key is generated by us so that we can uniquely identify all the records maintaining the history. So this is how SED2 table is designed and this is the one which is most frequently used in the data warehouse in most of the companies. Okay, so this is the one you have to focus on SCD2 slowly changing dimension tables. Okay, so I hope it is clear to you now for about SCD2. Now let's move with SCD3. So in SCD3 what happens the same columns we have but what we have is one extra column we generate here and that is the previous price column. So what we do here, whatever is the last modified price from the current price, we update it in a separate column. So as you can see here, the last updated price was 145 before the current one. So that's why what we have done is we have created a column called previous price and we have put the value as 145, which will contain the last modified price from the current price. Okay, so in this way, we don't have the exact history of the product, but we have the last price. So this is sometimes useful. So that's why this uh, SCD3 tables is also used. So this is how SCD3 table is designed. Okay, so I hope it is clear to you now SCD0, SCD1, SCD2 and SCD3. Apart from these four, SCD2 is the one which is frequently used and that only you should focus on and that only you should tell to the interviewer specifically. And we have two, two more, SCD4 and SCD6. SCD4 is, just for your information, it's a combination of SCD0, uh, SCD1 and SCD2. So just for your information, you just keep it in your mind. SCD4 is the combination of SCD1 and SCD2. And we have one more SCD6 and that is the combination of SCD1, SCD2 and SCD3. Okay, so just keep these two things two points in your mind about SCD4 and SCD6 and 
be clear with what is SCD 0, 1, 2 and 3. So I hope it is clear to you now what are the different types of slowly changing dimensions and if it is being asked to you in the interviews in the power bay interviews then you will be able to answer it correctly okay and you will not forget it anywhere anytime okay so that's it for this video if you like the content please hit the like button and share the video to all your friends and colleagues whoever are in need of this or who, who should definitely know about this thank you and stay tuned